Whenever you perform any test besides spirometry, the prevent flow sensor with filter must be placed into the breath path circuit within the head of the system. As the patient tidal breathes, the inspired and exhaled gas goes directly in and out of the patient circuit. When performing DLCO or nitrogen washout studies, the distal valve closes and the subject inhales either diffusion gas or 100% oxygen directly from the demand valve. For DLCO studies, the subject inhales deeply and rapidly. For nitrogen washout studies, the subject simply tidal breathes. For a DLCO study, after the lockout time is complete, which is the time the subject is locked out from exhaling, the distal valve reopens and the subject exhales into the room through the patient circuit. For a nitrogen washout effort, after the subject inhales 100% oxygen through the demand valve, the subject exhales through the circuit which is connected to the bottom of the head assembly via a one-way valve. The subject continues to tidal breathe in from the demand valve and out the circuit until the test is complete. The ability to completely remove and replace everything the patient breathes through is very easy. Start by removing the flow sensor from the head assembly and umbilical. Next, remove the patient circuit by disconnecting it from its four connection points and simply pull out. Take a new or disinfected patient circuit and place it within the head assembly. The small oval end is connected to the black demand valve. The round end opposite the demand valve is connected to the exhalation port. Next, pull the ends that fit into the shutter valves with the plastic retaining rings, ensuring that there are no kinks or twists in the patient circuit. Reconnect the flow sensor to the head of the system and connect the umbilical to the flow sensor. Once that is done, there is no warm-up time and you do not have to recalibrate to test your next patient.